What's going on YouTube family? Hope you guys have been good and are having a great week as usual. We're finally back with the YouTube content. I took a bit of a break because stuff in real life was getting a little bit too busy and crazy. I'm finally done with all that and I'm excited to getting back to creating some good content for you guys. We've definitely got a good one today with the Louis Vuitton trainer sneaker. I've got a lot to say about these, if they're worth it or not worth it, quality and all of that. But before we get into all that, let's jump right into the styling guys. We've got three ways to style the Louis Vuitton trainer sneaker. In this, I'm gonna call it canary yellow colorway. With look one, we're gonna start off with a cozy look, always a must. Next, into an easy spring-summer look. And lastly, an all-black minimalistic look that I think would be one for easy replication for you guys. Look one, we're going straight to cozy. Starting things off with a deep green oversized jacketless hoodie. A million door Dodgers cap in green and cream. A cream tee for the layering. And some light washed blue Gucci denim. Nothing too crazy going on with this one. We're just going for a simple, oversized hoodie and denim combo while allowing the yellow on the LV trainer sneakers to pop. Having some nice contrast from all that green in the fit. Next up for look 2, something for those spring summer days. We've got a white Celine beanie, chrome hearts tee, and these waffle texture pants from a Chinese brand called Trendy Boo Studios. I'm kind of liking this look with some sunglasses too. This pair is from Celine. Again, another simple fit with a white tee and some oversized cargoes. With the hits of white and cream going really nicely with the yellow on the Louis Vuitton trainers. Lastly, one for the black minimalist. We've got an Ame Leonor black beanie, Zara full leather shirt, cost tank in cream, and Junior Watanabe denim in black. I don't usually wear a lot of black, but I'm actually liking this fit a lot. It's simple, easy to replicate, yet slightly more elevated because of the full leather shirt. The leather patches on the junior denim go really well with the leather shirt too. Again, going real mellow on the top and allowing the Louis Vuitton trainers to pop on the bottom. Now, let's get into the details real quick. Starting things off with the classic Louis Vuitton box. Double Louis Vuitton dust bags. An extra pair of white laces. Now getting into the shoe, we've got this beautiful white embossed leather with the Louis Vuitton logos. On the toe box area and sides, the yellow Louis Vuitton monogram in denim. Rubber panels on the sides, which I want to say takes inspiration from the Air Jordan 4. The classic LV logos on the back in yellow rubber. LV monogram flowers towards the heel as a really nice detail. Giant Vuitton logos on the bottom. Finishing things off on the tongue area with the Louis Vuitton logos in denim and rubber. Of course, made in Italy. As for sizing, these fit massive. Your best bet is to go true to size on your EU size for the most accuracy. I'm an EU42 and these fit me perfectly. If you're going to be using a US size, I'd advise going down a full size from your usual size. This is a pricey purchase guys, and I'm honestly a little hesitant to recommend it. Although it looks really good, and is pretty comfy considering a luxury sneaker. The price point is honestly too high for what it is. 
the quality is decent if it was priced half of what it is and you're actually paying for the branding more than anything. The reason why I decided to pick these up is because this is Virgil's last collection with Louis Vuitton. I've never been much of a Louis Vuitton guy myself. In fact, this is my first purchase from them. But for everything that Virgil has done for the culture, I thought it'd be right to add something into my collection in honor of him. Which is why I chose yellow as an homage to canaryyellow.com. If you're not familiar with Canary Yellow, it's Virgil's personal website slash resume page where he puts up all his projects, past projects and old ideas. It goes way back to Pyrex days before Off-White was made and I think that's where he got the inspiration for the multiple hyphens for Off-White as well. Yellow is the most Virgil color to me and that's why if I were to pick up only one of these Louis Vuitton trainer sneakers, it had to be in Canary Yellow. But with that being said guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and styling. Let me know which is your favorite look. My personal favorite this week has got to be look 3 with the black faux leather. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, share or comment. It does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you enjoyed my content and would like to support me, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want more content from me throughout the week, don't forget to check out my Instagram. I'm also on TikTok now, so don't forget to check that out too. And yeah, much love guys. Peace. See you guys again soon.